All right, everybody, welcome to your foundations lesson. We are still in unit one, and today we're going to talk about reading smoothly, and we're going to practice, and we're going to look at a couple of things that we've already said about closed syllables in a previous video. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so let's take a look at those trick words. The first one is they. They. The next one is one. One. The next one is said. Said. Okay, let's take a look at those first three. I know we did it a little differently this time. So they, one, said, and the next one is you, you. Okay, here it is. The next one is your, your, like, oh, I really like your shirt. Let's have a look at it. And you might even know what the last one is. We've done this so many times. It's was. Was. It was a beautiful day today. All right, good job and keep practicing. So boys and girls, one of the ways that we can become really good readers is by learning how to read in scoops. Not just reading one word at a time, but putting a couple of words together if we can. So when we see this, we don't want to say to the pond. We want to say to the pond, to the pond. Make it nice and smooth. Okay, let's read these together. In the shed. In the shed. At the park. At the park. In the net. In the net. On the rock. On the rock. At the shop. At the shop. On his bed, on his bed, in the mud, in the mud. On the trip, on the trip, with a stick, with a stick. In the bush, in the bush, at the vet, at the vet. That's how we want to read, and it's going to help us read more quickly and more smoothly, okay? We don't want to do one word at a time. We don't want to say, at the vet, okay? At the vet. So, practice reading these. There's a worksheet that has these as well. And practice reading with someone. Okay. All right, let's move on. All right, so let's review closed syllables. Rem uh, remember what we said in the last video. A closed syllable must have a consonant at the end. It must have a short vowel before it. And it must be marked with a brev. A brev is that little mark that goes above a short vowel. A scoop and the letter C for closed. So, if we look at the word duck here, well, duck is one syllable. Okay, so I'm going to give it one scoop. 
and it's not duke, right? It's duck. It's a short syllable. So we're going to give it a brev. That's what that means. That's what that is. Brev is this mark. Okay? And it's a closed syllable. Why is it a closed syllable? Because it's got a short vowel, that U, and it has a consonant sound at the end. And if we wanted to mark the digraph, we would do that. Okay? And that's it. That's how you mark a closed syllable. Let's try another one. All right. Now, here's the word push. Okay? If we look at push, we have almost the same thing we just had. It's one syllable. Push. And it's a short U, so we're going to give it a brev. Okay? And... That makes it a closed syllable because we have a, a short vowel, the U, and then we have a consonant sound, the SH. And because the SH is a digraph, we put a line under it. And now it's marked. Look at the next one. Backpack. Backpack. This is not a one-syllable word. It's two. Back. Pack. Backpack. It's two syllables, but it's one word. Well, let's look at each syllable. Back. It's not bake. It's back. So we're going to put a brev over the A. Okay. And then if we look at pack, that's also a short A. It's not backpack. It's backpack. All right, and if we want to, we'll mark the digraph as well. There are two of them, CK. So the K is a consonant sound, and there's a short vowel before them. So these are both closed syllables, okay? That's how we're going to mark these. We're going to learn a lot of different syllable types this year, but the closed syllable is the important one for now. Okay, let's move on. All right, so take out that piece of paper and pencil again, and let's practice six words. The first one is shelf. Shelf. Please put the book back on the shelf. Remember, pause if you need time. And here it is. Shelf. Shelf. And by the way, how would you mark this? Shh is a digraph. Ulf is a blend, so it'll get two separate lines. And it's one syllable. Shelf. And it's not shelf, so it's a short vowel. We put a brev on it. Shelf. That makes it closed. Okay, your next word is grab. Grab. Hey, could you grab my bag for me, please? Here it is. And how would you mark this? Well, gur is a blend. So we'll put two separate lines there. Grab. Grab. And it's one syllable. And it's not grabe, so we're going to put a brev. It's a short A. It's a ah, grab. And it's a closed syllable. Okay, let's go to the next one. The next one is trash. Trash. All right, here it is. Well, let's mark this one, too. Trash. T-R-A-S-H. I can hear a T, and I can hear an R. That's a blend. And the S-H make a digraph, so that's one sound. Okay, T-R-A-S-H. And it's not, it's one syllable, I'm sorry. 
and it's not trash, so we're going to put a brev. It's trash, and that makes it a closed syllable. Now, how many sounds are in each of these words? Let's look at shelf. How many sounds are there? There are five letters, but we've got sh, e, o, f. This one is four. Let's look at grab. How many sounds is grab? G, er, a, b. Well, that one's also four. Okay. How about trash? T, er, a, sh. Well, there are five letters, but I only hear four sounds. So that one is also four. Now, let's try the next word. Chomp. Chomp. He chomped on his burger. Okay, here it is. Okay, now, how are we going to mark this? I'm going to erase the one above it. So, chomp is one syllable. And it's not chomp. Right? It's chomp. It's a short O. So we're going to give it a brev. Ch is a digraph. And mp is a blend. So that makes this a closed syllable. Okay? Because we have a short vowel and a consonant after it. How many sounds do you hear in chomp? Or again. Hmm. All right, let's go to the next word. Thump. 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 If you're not careful, you will thump your head on the door. Although that would probably be bump, but let's go with thump. Here it is. Okay, this one is going to be marked exactly like chomp because th is a digraph, mp is a blend, it's one syllable, it's closed, and it's a little hard for me to squeeze it in there. I should erase the one above it. We put a brev there because it's not thump, right? It's thump. Okay, here's your last one, and this will be the hardest one. Oh, how many sounds is thump? Four. Okay, here's your last one, and it's the toughest. Sprint. Sprint. She likes to sprint on the track. Sprint. All right. Let's see if you have it. Did you get this one correct? All right. Let's take a closer look at it. Sprint. Well, sprint. Current. Hmm. This here, s, p, er. Do you remember what that is? That is a three letter blend. Those three letters are sticking together, but I can hear each one. S, p, s, p, er. And we have another blend here at the end. Ooh. How many syllables is this? Sprint. Right, it's one. And are we saying sprint or sprint? We're saying sprint. It's a short I. It's a closed syllable. Now, here's the big question. And this is why this word is pink. How many sounds do you hear? Er, it, I can hear every letter by itself. So this one is six. Wow. All right, boys and girls, that's it for this lesson. Okay, and I have to sprint and uh, get ready for the next one.
Keep practicing your words, keep watching videos, make sure you do your worksheets, and uh, why don't you go outside for a little bit of a run? Yeah, take a sprint. It's okay. It's good exercise. Goodbye. The end.